Friday's tornadoes tore through the towns of Blodgett, Missouri and Somerset, Kentucky. More than 270 miles and a five hour drive separate the two towns, but the tornadoes in each town were produced by the same thunderstorm. Well, that thunderstorm did not produce a tornado across the entire length that it was tornado warned. It did stay tornado warned continuously for about 10 hours. That means the thunderstorm had the capability of producing a tornado at any point on that trek. We can follow it on the radar. We start with this storm on the southern side of the line in central Missouri. It starts with a tornado warning there and continues to stay tornado warned as it works its way east into southeastern Missouri, where meteorologist Tony Labeck spotted it, confirming the tornado as it worked its way to the east. Through Paducah, Kentucky, it stayed warned as well as through Bowling Green, Kentucky, and into the overnight hours it produced a tornado warning across southern Kentucky. You can actually see it in the Somerset area saying tornado warned with that purple confirmed tornado warning there. And then it's warned one last time in Hazard, Kentucky, before it's absorbed by the main line. In the end, the storm was tornado warned for just shy of 500 miles. You can actually map that out. It's a thunderstorm like these that can produce long track tornadoes, though we won't know for sure how many times the tornado may have lifted and then dropped again from the storm system. But you can see that length here depicted. It's quite a distance. Long track tornadoes are classified as tornadoes that are greater than 50 miles in length, and they are very rare. In fact, only about half a percent of tornadoes considered long track tornadoes, but they account for 21% of all the fatalities. A vast majority of the tornadoes have passed less than five miles of length.